to begin, where to begin, where to begin. I just, I don't understand this team. You know, my buddy posted a meme um, this morning um, about the Cowboys that it just, it's true. It's just so true. Um, what the meme said was waking up every morning being a loyal Cowboy fan. It's, this is what it feels like. And um, the picture of the meme was the Joker with his face painted and um, the star on his face. That's what the meme was. And that's basically how I feel year in and year out. Like, I don't understand. Like, I just, I just don't get it with this team. I don't know if it's just Jason Garrett has lost the team. I don't know if this team just doesn't have any heart. And what? Connor Williams, to me, is a bust. He's the weakest link on the team. Um, he's hurt. He's torn with the ACL. He's gone for the rest of the year. So Suofilo needs to come in. I know we had McGovern out for the whole year. So of course we're gonna we're gonna see what he's like next year. Um, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. This is. It's just. It's. It's ridiculous. Um, uh, this team is just so uh, either high or very low. They're either very high or very low. And. Um, you know, at least we're beating the teams that we need to beat, you know, which is what why we're in the position that we're in now. We're still in, you know, first place, even when, even if the Eagles lose, um, no, no, we're, we're still a game up. Even if the Eagles win, we'll be tied. We'll have the game breaker because the, the um, we, we beaten them head to head. And it seems like everything is going to come down to week 16. That's what it seems like it's going to be. Um, we have to win next week um, to... We have to win next week. We have to beat the Eagles, and we have to beat Washington. Those are the three games that we have to win if we're going to win this division. But at this point, I honestly don't give a shit if we win the division or not because um, anybody coming out of the East, Eagles or Cowboys, um, we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. And it's funny that we're on the same page here, Cowboy fans and Eagle fans, because, you know, for the longest time, us Cowboy fans were making fun of Eagle fans about, oh, divisional wins. That's all you care about are divisional wins. And then once they won the Super Bowl, us Cowboy fans were talking about, oh, we beat y'all. We got the division, even though we don't care about division wins like the way they did. Um, we still were able to hold that over them. Because they did win a Super Bowl. But now, now it seems like both of us are like, we're going to win this division. That's that's the key. Winning this division. Winning and like everyone cares about winning the division now. Uh, I mean, so, um, and they're going to hold, each one of our franchises are going to hold that against the other franchise. You know what I'm saying? So, and it, and it, and it, make, it's, it makes me chuckle a little bit that now we've just, both of these franchises this year has stooped to that level. Um, I expect it from, from Eagle fans, but not so much Cowboy fans, but the mediocrity of our team, it's just unreal. And I don't know if that's just because of, I've said this many of times. I've said this many a times. It's not a player's league, like in baseball or, or in basketball or even in hockey, you know, where you can plug in a player and it changes the whole dynamic of the game. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. I mean, yeah, you can plug in a player and he could play a certain way, but if you don't play to that strength um, of that sch that scheme, don't play to that strength of that player, you know, he's a bust. You know what I'm saying? This is a coach's league where your coach needs to outsmart the other coach. He needs to have a better game plan. And right now, Jason Garrett is not having great game plans whatsoever at all. Um, this thing about Chris Rashad hyping up our guys and you know needing to be our next head coach. If this is if this is true about what they say about Chris Rashad about him not letting or he'd rather have our guys not turn their heads when going for a ball or defending you know our corners defending or secondary defending the receivers not turning our head and finding the ball. That's the reason why we get penalties a lot. That's the reason why we. We can't get interceptions. We get no takeaways, nothing. And if that guy's going to be coaching our team, no. I, I don't want that. I, I don't want that at all. Um, I don't know who I want as the head coach next year. Don't know if I want Lincoln Riley. Don't know if I want Urban Meyer. I just know this. The last time we had a college head coach like that, um, Jimmy Johnson, we won three Super Bowls. Barry Switzer, or we won two Super Bowls with him, and we won one with, with, with Barry Switzer, which is ultimately Jimmy's team. Uh, other than that, Chan Gailey, um, Dave Campos, uh, Bill Parcells, um, 
uh, Wade Phillips, um, Jason Garrett. <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, you get from the college ranks. You know, history is shown. We got from the college ranks. Of the last two times, last three times we won a Super Bowl, we had a college coach coming in and taking over. But Terry Bradshaw said it best um, Thursday morning when I was watching the pregame to the Lions and Bears game. Jerry Jones is not going to want a head coach that is going to take over the, the, the that's going to want to take over the team. Um, Jerry Jones is going to want a coach that's going to be a puppet and let Jerry Jones pick the players, manage, you know, pick the team and what's the difference? This is going to be another Jason Garrett is basically what it's going to be. And it's just, it's, and he's right. He's right. Um, unless Jason, uh, Jerry Jones shows me different, um, which I thought he was going to this year, you know, with him saying that he really wants a Super Bowl. Um, you know, as long as he's picking guys, you know, and putting input on which guys we draft, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Not with, you know, I don't, I don't see it. For all we know, Jason Garrett could be a great head coach. But with the talent, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I have no idea. I just know that this coaching staff and, and, and you know, our ownership, you know, is the reason why we, we aren't performing the way we are, um, the way we should be. Our, our um, yes, our coaching staff, you know, <laughs> we're one of the dumbest. Have, I, I honestly think we have one of the dumbest coaching staffs. In the league, and I know I just said, for all we know, Jason Garrett could be a great head coach somewhere else. He probably could, you know, managing, running his team, picking his players, because we know that Jason Garrett isn't picking his guys. It's Jerry Jones picking the guys, and Jerry Jones has drafted well two years. He drafted well two years. This past year, he didn't draft well at all. Um, him and uh, Will McClay, that you know, I just, I don't know. I, I'm just so. Eh, with this team at this point, you know we got the Bears Thursday night, so you know I got at least I got a hate week, something to do against um, Judah. So there's that. But other than that, this team has not made me want to get up and be, yeah, like go, even going into the game, I'm just like fuck, dude. I just hope we win. You know, you know I, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, so win the division or not, I really don't give a shit because whatever is going to happen in the playoffs is whoever wins this division is going to be one and done. That, that's it. My best bet right now is us playing, is us winning the division and having the Vikings to play. That's our best bet because if we got to go against the Seahawks, no, it ain't going to happen. Uh, even though I did have a weird ass dream uh, today about us playing the Seahawks in the playoffs and winning. It was, I, I shit you not. I shit you not. It was, it was, a, it was a random ass dream. Excuse me. But anyway, I'm going on too much. It's, this team is, sorry, I cut the video off by mistake. Um, what I was going to finish up saying was this, this team is just too high, too low, no consistency whatsoever. Um, and that's all I was going to finish saying just, you know, just real quick like that. But anyway, that's all I got until next time. I'm out. Peace.